Hey guys, what's up here with another live game commentary brought to you from the wonderful world of Solo Q. Today we are playing as Vavik Jangel. I haven't actually played Warwick ever since I made this channel. I haven't done Warwick yet. And Warwick is uh, probably the simplest jungler to play ever. Uh, recently, somewhat recently, I did a video on Master Yi talking about how he was the like easiest carry jungler in the game. I don't really think Warwick's like a carry jungler in the same way that Master Yi is, but as far as just like the easy element goes, I really don't think there's a champion that's harder to play in this game than Warwick. I honestly think that Warwick is probably the most simple champion to play in this entire game. I don't think that's an exaggeration either. I think that's just how it is. He's like so simple to play, and so if you're if you're someone who's really new to the jungle role specifically, or if you're someone who doesn't you know, you just can't be asked to really think about what you're doing. That's fine. You can do that. In fact, it's quite a, quite a good way to be playing, really, because then you can just mong about and you don't have to worry too much about anything. It's all good stuff. Warwick is a good choice for you if that's the case. I always recommend simple champions in general, just because like it, the simpler the simpler the champion is to play, the less you have to worry about the champion itself, and then the more you can worry about actually playing the jungle. Um, but yeah, Warwick jungle. Very simple choice. So Rizzo Marshies, boys and girls, AD Reds, attack speed quints, health per level yellows. You don't need armor because uh, you don't take any damage on Warwick really. And whatever blues you want to run, either attack speed, CDR, or magic resist. And uh, for your masteries, go 18 to 0 with uh, further for battle. Further for battle is pretty much just the best choice for Warwick. Um, it works with your ultimate as well, which I'll get in. Like you'll see how his ulti works later on. But essentially, your ultimate just hits someone for like how many times is it? Like five times? Yeah. Five times, so you just immediately get like five stacks of your ulti. It's pretty crazy. Whenever you, uh, sorry, five stacks of further whenever you ult someone, and you know Warwick is a champion who just relies on his basic attacks or auto attacks. Um, so like having something like further is really strong for that. So I'm starting up my blues blue buff this game because I like firstly I don't need to start bot side because I don't need to get a good leash this game because Warwick uh, is not a champion who really needs leashes at all. Warwick's leash requirement level is really bloody low. Warwick doesn't need leashes. Uh, he, he just like he doesn't take damage as you can see here I'm not I haven't used any potions I use smite once and I'm like I'm over healing right now like I'm on full health and I, I've like used my Q on full health as well twice which would otherwise heal me so I'm uh, y you know like war does not take damage when he's clearing the jungle so you don't need to worry about what side you start on to get a good leash um, and also on top of that having the blue buff means I can spam my, my Q if I want to in the jungle so I don't have to worry about like falling low or anything like that so it's just good overall to like blue buff is quite good in Warwick, so being able to start a blue side is, is, is really nice. Like to get the blue buff, it's good stuff. So Hecarim looks like he's actually started at his red buff and he doesn't have his blue yet. And he's actually ganked early as well, which means he doesn't have any mana, and he's actually gonna go over to his blue here, I'm guessing. Uh, and try and take this maybe. Uh, I'm I don't really know how he plans to do this. He doesn't have any mana, so it's gonna be hard for him to take his blue. So I'm actually just going to walk over to it and see if he's over here, if he's doing something here. And if not, I'm just going to try and take it away, because chances are he might have recalled. Like, Hecarim might have recalled to try and get some mana back, because without mana, Hecarim can't clear the jungle. Which is, again, why you want to start... Usually you want to start a blue buff when you're playing Hecarim as well. Similar reasons why I started a blue when I'm playing Warwick. Oh my goodness, they all knew... They're all, they all came for me, boys. I'm dead. Fuck. Really? Everyone knew I was there? God damn it. I should have walked over this one and flashed this way. That was my bad. Four man collapse. But at least we get the blue buff. If I if I had lost the blue as well, that'd have been really bad. <laughs> that would have been like the worst thing there. But we get we get blue at least. Is that is that worth it guys? Can we say worth it? I actually don't want to say worth it because I'm a bit afraid that my team will rage at me. Like I feel like I'm I'm lucky enough that they haven't started raging at me for that. So uh, I'm not going to egg them on by <laughs> saying something stupid in chat and force them to get really angry at me. Um, but the biggest weakness of Warwick, and the reason why I don't think he's particularly good as a jungler, like, he's good to learn the jungle role, and he's really good as, like, a simple champion to play, but the reason why he's not amazing is because he really, like, has really crap ganks before like, level 6. His level 6 ganks are decent with his ultimate, but when his ult's down, he's honestly just, like, useless, honestly. He's borderline useless when his ultimate's down. And then we're going to go towards Blood Race this game. Attack speed, like I said, Warwick's passive gives him on hit as well, so he's all about like his auto attacks. It's pretty much his whole kit functions on making his auto stronger in a sense, apart from his Q really, but even that's like a melee range thing. But your ultimate is a is a way to just like get in on someone 
your your W increases your attack speed, your E increases your move speed. So it's all about chasing people down on Warwick really and hitting them with the autos, which is fine if you can hit people. And like Warwick doesn't lose too many like mano a mano fights. Like if you're just like sitting there slapping someone around the mouth, then Warwick is probably going to win most of those fights. Uh, in a 1v1, but he doesn't get many of those fights because people just run away from him, as they should. But we're gonna we're gonna keep farming here, and uh, you know, like like I said, Warwick is not great at this stage of the game. He doesn't bring too much to the table, so uh, I like it doesn't make much sense for me to play aggressive right here because there's not really much I can do. Like if someone's really far pushed out and I've got red buff or something, then maybe I can just run into the lane and start punching them. But I really can't expect to be able to do anything this game as far as that goes. Uh, so I'm not I'm not trying to not going to expect anything. And honestly, this Hecarim is ganking. He's ganking quite a lot. I, I would argue he's actually maybe even ganking too much right now. This Hecarim, because he's putting himself really. He's level four still. Like I'm level five and a half, and I died. Um, this guy's still just level four. So he got a kill. He got a kill, and he's still only level four, which means this guy's not farming jungle at all. So he's he's gonna fall behind if he does if he's not too careful. Well, he's already fallen behind, but he's gonna fall really far behind if he's not careful. So I think like you you got to balance ganking and farming. Warwick is someone you obviously want to put more emphasis on farming. Let's go ahead and try and take this scuttle crab away though. My blue buff is going to respawn soon, so I want to be in position for that. So, but there's nothing else for me to do before it respawns. So I'm going to go ahead and take a scuttle. Give me a good amount of gold here. There we go. Decent amount of experience as well, but mostly just the gold. Once I get this blue, I think I'm going to. Be level 6 here. I would imagine I'd be level 6 after this. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I am. The thing is, like, I would love to go top and gank that, but Gangplank actually, like, he's one of the only champions who's not hard counter to Warwick, but really sucks against for Warwick to play against, because he, if he eats his oranges, you actually can't ult him. <laughs> like, you ult him, and he eats his oranges, and he gets out your ult. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it, your damage actually continues through it, but CC goes away, which is essentially, you may as well have just not used your ult, right? So I'm going to try and do a dive on this uh, Orianna here with my LT. Oh, I think Hecarim knows I'm here though. Hecarim was right here, I'm guessing, right? Is that why these chickens just ran away? Oh wow, he's really low. Holy shit, okay. Fair, fair enough. Here we go. Let's go for a dive here. Look at all these Warwick mechanics, boys. Oh my goodness. So many Warwick mechanics. <laughs> Good lord. That was extreme. Oh, there's the oranges. Nice. He hit the barrel. I've come back in, boys. I've come back in. Oh, beautiful stuff. Good execution. Oh, my goodness. I'm being ganked by Janna. Thresh is coming up. Can you save me? My Q actually didn't go off there. That was a bit cheeky. All right, nice. That's worth it, though. That's definitely worth it still. Let's go for the Scuttle Crab here. This is a level 1 Scuttle as well, so it dies really fast. Aha. Oh, gosh. He's got no mana either, this guy, so he's actually not that... Threatening right here. His auto attacks are pretty threatening, but not outside of that really. Got to be careful of the Oriana coming back in though. This was a questionable. Nice. I, I thought he was actually aiming for for Hecarim there, in which case that was a really bad Jin ult, but that was good. That was good outside that. Oriana. I don't know if Oriana's ult is actually up or not. Like Oriana did. Oh shit! Why is he here? <laughs> Question. <laughs> Question, why is there Gangplank here again? <laughs> like, he's already TP down here, and he's still here. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's go ahead and take the uh, Krugs, and then we'll recall here. I was going to try to go for their blue buff, but never mind. But just as, like, a little a little commentary on what this Hecarim is building here, um, it would be, I think it would be much better for this Hecarim if he went for, um, like, Hunter's Potion. He doesn't even have potions, so I guess he started with, like, proper health potions there. If he went for Hunter's Potion, uh, it actually helps him a lot because it gives him a, a decent amount of like mana regen, I guess, for every camp. Like It, it just makes his clears a bit better. I think that's, it's really useful for him. But uh, outside of that, his build's fine. It's just like, he should he should have the Hunter's Potion, in my opinion. So we're going to go for Red Smite this game. Red Smite gives you really, really good... Like, you ult on someone, and then you Red Smite them, and you just like absolutely destroy them. We've got the Blood Razor, like we mentioned as well. Now, outside of that, what you want to buy on Warwick is pretty much up to you. Warwick has a really good synergy with Blade of the Rune King. It's even better versus tanky targets, obviously, because Blade of the Rune King does percentage health damage. So if you've got tanky tanky people in the enemy team, then Blood Razor into Blade is a really good combo. 
you don't need it because sometimes it's just overkill. Um, but it's still decent, so I could I could certainly go for that this game. It has good synergy with Warwick overall. Um, outside of that, though, I could go for uh, Frozen Mallet's fairly good. I could go for Titanic Hydra. Like, Frozen Mallet, Titanic Hydra work is actually kind of strong. Or I could just go, like, you know, like Wit's End if I wanted to as well. I could do a lot of stuff on his work. He's really open as to what he can go for. Which makes him pretty versatile as a champion. Well, to an extent. If it's got attack speed on it, generally speaking, Warwick can use it. Don't really want to get crit on him, but generally, you know, most attack speed items are pretty good on him. Anyway, let's try and get in here. I've got my ultimate up. Warwick with his ult up's a pretty big deal, so definitely something I want to play around here. I'm assuming Hecarim doesn't have his ult either here. That guy just used his... Okay, you know what? I'll just go for this guy. So I'm going to red smite him here. I don't think that Red Smite's going to kill him, you know. We got him, nice. Red Smite did kill him. Excellent. And I'm going to flash out of that Orianna's ult too, so I don't die. She's really low and doesn't have any mana either. Wait, I, did I get did I get a fresh blue here? I did, okay. Now, if I didn't have a fresh blue here, then that would tell me that th this guy didn't actually take his blue yet. The reason why I knew that this Hecarim had taken his blue is because I got a... F like, the, my blue buff is like... I It's fresh. Like, I've just got it, you know? Like, it's just starting to tick down from, like, its full duration. Which means that I must have just got it from Hecarim. But I didn't see whether Hecarim had it or not. So and if, if I hadn't just got it from Hecarim, then I knew he didn't have it. Which means that his blue buff would be up. But we're going to go for the dragon here. Warwick, I said he's really good at pe like fighting people just in the 1v1. Like If he just gets to slap people, he's really good at that. He doesn't really lose to anyone in that situation. And, you know, that also goes for objectives. Like, Warwick's objective control is pretty strong. So we're going to go for... I'm probably going to go for the Krugs and Recall here. Um, I don't know what boots I'll go. Like, you can actually go Berserker Greaves. I said any attack speed item works on Warwick. Berserker Greaves are a bit extreme. Just because, like, you can... You're kind of missing out on maybe getting, like, Swifties or Mertreads or something like that. You can go Berserkers, but I actually wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Because when you get your W up, you have a lot of attack speed anyway. And then if you combine it with your Blood Razor and another attack speed item, which you'll probably go for, then it's usually a bit overkill to go Berserk Greaves, but... My ult isn't up for like 5 seconds. If my ult was up right here, this would be perfect. Please hit one. Oh my goodness, you can't hit a single one. Holy shit! My ult just came up. Okay. Red Smite. Ulti. Further. Look at that. I have eight further stacks. Eight further stacks, guys. Like, immediately. Just immediately get, like, a crap ton of AD. How much AD does that even give me? Maximum AD, 31. I get 31 extra AD, basically, when I ult someone. Pretty crazy. Alright. Hmm. I think I want to go for some move speed next. I might actually go Blade the Rune King this game, because Hecarim is going to be quite tanky, I think. And uh, the, the active will be quite useful as well, I feel like. See, this is the thing, this, this Echo's complained about being camped this game, but like, look at this Echo's vision. Like, look at the way he's playing, and look at his vision. If I'm Hecarim, this guy is such a free kill. <laughs> he's got absolutely no vision of anything, and Hecarim could just be anywhere and just kill that guy. You know, like, it's such an easy kill for this guy. I'm gonna go for this here. Who wants this? Who wants to come and take this with me, boys? Who wants this? Echo? Shen? Any of you two want to want to come get this? Anyone? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> am I am I going crazy or sitting here for like ten years before someone even comes here? I know they both come here. I wonder who's actually going to get it. It'll be pretty good on me actually. Like either Shen or me should take this. I don't think Echo should take it. He could take it, but I don't really think it's. As good on him as it is on us. Alright, Shen wants it. Shen can take it. So, by giving that to Shen, more or less means that I don't have to worry about that guy anymore. Like, he can just do his thing uh, in his lane, and I, sh I don't think I'd ever have to gank this guy anymore. Because, like, that should give him enough power in just in itself. I shouldn't have to worry about going top and ganking for him. Or at least, like, I shouldn't have to. Like, I could still go there if I wanted the free kill, which is what I'm going to go for now. But I won't. I don't have to go here to, like, save him. That was a good taunt. He's dead. Good shit. 
So I'm actually going to try and... I'm going to sit in this lane here and we're going to go for the tower. Because this tower is already on half health. It's relatively low. I'm maxing my E second, by the way. A lot of people get confused about what you max second on Warwick. Um, I think E is better because it gives you more move speed, which is like more important than attack speed. Like, attack speed is great, but you already get a, a good chunk of attack speed. It's better, like it's more important to be like a lot faster with your E than it is to have um, like five percent extra attack speed or something. This is a really risky play by Shen because people are people are around him. He's not by himself there. Now I get a huge amount of solo XP, solo gold there from getting that tower. And yeah, I don't think Shen wanted to go in on that one. We get the tower there. Can we defend this? Uh, hmm. I don't actually know about this one. I don't think I can defend that. <sighs> Maybe I could I have flanked here, like run down here, and like like gone from top and just ran to mid and maybe try to defend like that. I actually may be able to do that. I'm not 100% sure though. Anyway, I'm going to go for the Blade of the Ring King this game, pretty much just for the Hecarim. Like, the synergy is, always, is just always really good on, on Warwick. Like I say, you can never really go wrong by going Blade of the Ring King. But especially against someone who's going to have a lot of health like the Hecarim. Should be pretty good for me. But there's a lot of different things you can go, you know. Like I said, a Titanic Hydra for as a mana build is actually pretty strong as well. Let's see if this guy is uh, too far forward here. He actually might be able to get him here. I think Echo may scare him off, but he should be dead still. I don't even want to use my ult here. Okay. Probably should have used my... <laughs> I... Okay, the tower. Okay, the tower ramped up really fast to me there. I was not expecting that damage. That's pretty dumb though. That's pretty greedy. Yeah, I should have ulted him immediately there. Okay, it's pretty bad. Ah, that's a shame. Rip. Damn, that was actually really boosted. I said that. I said that playing Warwick is really easy, right? Because you've only got like, it's really you don't have to worry about anything about him like specifically, you know. You don't have to worry about your mechanics on Warwick because he has no mechanics. And, uh, you know, that's like one thing you got to do, which is like press R on someone. And I didn't even do that. So that's pretty embarrassing, not going to lie. All right, this dragon's about to respawn. So I'll go ahead and move over there and try and take that. I think these guys are actually coming up for Shen. That's what it looks like, at least. Uh, which means that this should be a free, free dragon for us. So I'll just go ahead and take this. Is that Ez coming down for me, or... Nope. Okay, cool. Shen's not even dead yet. He almost killed a Gangplank. Gosh. Impressive. Alright. I'll we'll take this. If I clear a bit of the, uh... Bit of the enemy jungle here. Maybe the enemy jungle, maybe just my jungle. Probably my jungle. Uh, I'll get level 11. Level 11 gives me rank 2 in my ultimate, which should make me pretty strong for taking... Like, 1v1s and stuff. Um... I'm already pretty strong one runs obviously, but I should be even stronger. Especially with Red Buff, like Red Buff and Warwick is really good. They did they did change the way Red Buff works though, so I'm I don't think it's as good on him as it used to be, but I think it's still pretty good. Nicely done. Alright, almost level eleven. Ooh, how do I do this? I'll hold mid and get eleven, I guess. Oh, hello. Spicy. God damn, I took so much damage here. I hadn't taken so much damage. Oh my goodness. Oh, you almost... Oh my god. Hello? Is Jim running from someone or what's he doing? Okay. That was a bit awkward. He used both summoners for that as well. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, you tried. I really want to try and just go for like a 1v1 here though. Specifically on Ez. Like I can 1v1 anyone at this point. If I just sit in mid, for example, it's like pretty a pretty bad idea from the perspective that no, they're never really going to be alone if they're in mid. I'm not going to find a 1v1 if I go mid, basically, so it makes more sense for me to try and just like go into side lane and do something. And I, I would go top as well, but Gangplank being Gangplank and orange my, orange my ulti, which is like really awkward. It's really annoying as well. Alright, I do want to run down bot here. Like, I positioned bot quite purposefully here, not just because I want to clear the jungle, but... 
I want to try and be around Shen because if I if I'm the enemy team, I'm looking at Shen thinking, oh, this is probably a juicy, this is probably a juicy gank. Oh wow, that was a good combo. Nice. So someone probably go down bot to defend against Shen. There it is. And so I wanted to be here to try and fight with him. I don't actually have my Blade of the Rune King yet, which is a bit awkward, but. No. It's a shame. Oh well, he uses his ult. I didn't get to use my ult there, but I don't. I wonder what happens if you ult a Hecarim in his ult. I'm pretty sure you won't stop him. A Hecarim ult you can't stop, but I I'd probably stop him like when he landed. I can hear Shad scratching at the door. Shad, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Shad? Well, Shady. I heard you trying to come in, Chad. There you go. Hello, Chad. <laughs> Hello, Scavi. Hello, you. Alright, losing tier 2. Top, not great. But we did get there, tier 2. So, it's something. Alright, where's e where's Ezra at? I'm just going to sit here and just wait for Ez. Someone will come here, right? Why are you pinging me back? Oh, no. I'm caught. Why are we so scared of these guys? Like, Thresh didn't even try and make that play with me. He has immediately landed me out. Jin was spam pinging me back. Like, they're so afraid of me. Don't know why, really. Oh, not afraid of me, but afraid for me, I guess. It's very peculiar. Alright, so we've got our core build here. I honestly have no idea what I want to buy next. Do I want to go, like, a defensive item? Or do I want to go for more damage? Uh, God damn it, I hate this shit. I'll go for Frozen Mallet, I guess. I don't really like this too much but it does kind of give me a permanent red buff it makes me tankier as well frozen mallet isn't it's not a bad choice on him i just i don't know i feel like i feel like i should be getting like dead man's plate or something chad you just came in and i heard you scratching for like a good minute at the door like let me in let me in and now you come in and you want to go straight back out go on scruffy you better actually go downstairs as well i swear down if he just walks around He's just walked around and he wants to come back in again. Are you serious, Shad? Well, Shad, mate, you got to make your mind up. you got to make your mind up, Shad. And you're out. Ah. God damn it, Shad. Well, I'm leaving the door open because I know you're going to ah. want to go out. There you go. It's gone out again. I'm closing the door, boys. I'm closing the door. Nice. All right. Can we get something near? I don't want to be the first one going in here. I'm actually really, really squishy. So definitely don't want to be jumping in here by myself, but if my team goes in, we can certainly make a play. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen, so I'm going to move down bot and just try and push this mini wave down. We've got a pretty good pretty good split going on here, and we've also killed Ez, so... Hmm, maybe I should stay mid, actually. This guy's getting... If this guy gets collapsed in top, it opens up mid for us. Like, if they send two people top, then that's one less person defending mid, so it makes it easier to take mid. But... I actually did leave this mid lane, so it was a bit bad on that front. Alright. That's fine. Nothing happened there. It's all good. I can probably die if this says like, flat out as well. I'm assuming he doesn't have summoners if he just died, so... He probably has no sums, and if he's got no sums, then I just, like, ult him. Just kill him. Oh, they're all in mid. They're all gonna come for me, right? Probably. I'm going to try and get like as much damage on this as possible. I know I'm going to die here. Yeah, that was an instant. That was an instant orange right there. Got him, boys. <laughs> Alright, so half the tower's damage, one for one. No, 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 just, just get mid, just get mid, just get mid, just get mid, just get mid. Get mid, get mid, get mid, get mid. Oh my goodness. Like This this room here is like pretty pointless. Like, you're not going to be able to do anything here, so what's the point? Should have just gone mid and got this tower. That's fair enough, though. Like, I got half that tower damage. We went one for one. That's fine. That's fine. Shen didn't even die. That's perfect. If Shen died there, it would have been pretty bad. But he didn't. So it's good good shit. I should probably get some armor, though. Like, I can't really do that without armor. It's pretty risky. And looking at the enemy team as well, I can probably afford to go Frozen Heart this game. I don't like going Frozen Heart if I'm against... If I don't have a lot of health or I'm against, like, a good, good amount of uh, magic damage as well. Excuse me. But um, we're not... The running magic damage is Orianna. She's pretty strong, but I can just avoid her as well. So I don't have to worry too much about that. So that's cool. I can just go like... 
running into running into people, not having to worry too much. And I've got a bit of health for my frozen mallet too, so going for going for frozen heart. I'm just going for the full frozen build really. Just chuck in frozen mallet, get frozen heart. Just call this the refrigerator build. Can I get that? I wonder how fast I actually kill a Hecarim with Bather and King. I probably kill it quite fast, right? Like, what's that? It, like, all of my ults apply on hit effects, so it's eight percent of their current health every hit, and I hit people five times. So I'm gonna do forty percent of their current health. It's quite a lot. Just, just in on hit from Blather and King. That's not even the damage that I would be doing, like with each, you know, like with each hit, just in general, like my AD and all that stuff, and the damage from the ulti itself. That's pretty good. All right, so we got some sideways pushing here, but we, we don't want to like over overstay here for now. I don't really think Jin should be recalling because we're actually in a good position to to group up as a team here. But if we all want to recall, then I guess we want to recall. I really want to run, run, uh, run of this airs actually. One hit? No? Okay. It's a shame. Well, Janet ult for my ult's not too bad. We get a really low as well. Would have been nice to be able to pick her up there, actually, but... I don't think Ezra, uh, Echo didn't even uh, realise I was going in, I don't think. Well, he didn't react, at least, so... <laughs> I'm hoping he didn't realise. I'd be a bit bad if he intentionally didn't go in on that. I don't think that's the case, obviously. My ult's up in 50 seconds. Yeah, we should totally go in on this. If they want to go in on that Shen, let them come, man. I'm, mm, we don't have a ready carry here at all, though. We're a bit outnumbered here, boys. We don't want to fight if we're outnumbered, so let's just back away here. We can probably pressure a Baron, though. I wonder what it would take to do it. Just Thresh, me and Jin, maybe? If Echo and Shen stay out, they won't suspect. They're not. They won't suspect that we do this. If we've got Echo and Shen out, they won't suspect it. I don't think this is. I really don't think this is risky at all. They don't know we're doing it. It's not warded. Don't aggro it. God fucking damn it. Like, I don't want to tank this. It hurts me a lot, but I'll tank it, I guess. Alright, good shit. Look at that. Easiest Baron of my life. Bather and King, man. Holy shit. So, we're actually pretty even in kills. 17 kills to 15. It's a bit of a stalemate as far as our push goes. But plays like that help you close the game out. If you know that you can take Baron, then it's good shit. Especially if you know you can do it without your whole team there. The less people you have around you, the easier it is to make a play like that, because the less suspecting they are. <laughs> Look at that counterplay, man. Huge counterplay. Like, they didn't suspect a thing on that, Baron. If we'd all disappeared towards Baron, then they probably would have suspected more, you know? But if, if only a few of us disappear, then chances of them suspecting something is really not, like, it is a lot lower, you know? Does this guy get a bunch of AD when I press W? He's on 5, 2, 3. Yeah, he, got, he gets 20 AD whenever I press W. Oh, wow. Because like, Jin, Jin doesn't actually get any attack speed. He just gets... He doesn't get attack speed. He just gets, like, a, it, his attack speed turns into AD. I think his crit might turn into AD as well. I like different scalings. All right, yeah, we'll go. We'll go for some armor here. Like, what's great about armor as well is like not only is it good against physical damage, like people on their team, but it also helps you close the game out because you take so much less damage from towers and objectives. So if you want to go for these barren plays, like I just did, although Warwick is a bit of an exception because he's like got this crazy regen. But if you want to go for for like tower dives as well or barren or dragons, it's so much easier to do that if you've got armor. Because they will do, they will do physical damage to you. So I think, generally speaking, armor is a more valuable stat than magic exists. And if in doubt, just buy like health and armor. 
If in doubt, buy health and armor. And if you really need the MR, then of course you can go for it. But That's so fast. I was so close to ulting that dickhead. I didn't want to flash ult him though. But I did want to test my damage on him. Work is such a stupid champion, man. Alright, nice. Nicely done, boys. W is like an assist machine as well. I've already got five assists this game, which is a bit surprising. Oh, wow. Don't knock me into the fountain, please. Nice. Look at my damage. Oh, my goodness. Look at my damage on that guy. Holy moly. Alright, nice game boys, nice game. Let me just go ahead and do this thing here so that my... There we go. Nice. SM Warwick, there it is boys, an SM Warwick. Four wins, one loss so far. Damn, that GP did loads of damage, what the hell? Holy shit, that's brutal. That's crazy, holy moly. Damn. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that gameplay, boys and girls. If you did, of course, cheeky thumbs up. If you didn't, then, gosh, you're going to break my heart, man. You can do me like that? You're going to break my heart like that? I hope not. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful evening. Ah, I'm tired, man. I'm bloody tired. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.